Today in the Giveaway Gladiator Build Series, we're installing 40-inch Patagonias on Method Beadlocks. Welcome back to the Northridge 4x4 Giveaway Gladiator Build Series. And today, yes, it's finally time to mount these big 40-inch tall tires onto some beadlocks. For the beadlock wheels, we chose a set of 106 Method Racing beadlock wheels constructed of A356 aluminum that have a heat treated T6 construction. They feature a forged aluminum ring. They're rated to 3,600 pounds. They have a reinforced lip. One of the things we really like about the method beadlocks is they feature a dual beadlock bolt pattern. If you mess up a couple of the bolt holes, cross thread them, get a bolt stuck in there, break something off, no worries. Just spin your ring one bolt hole and get into that second pattern and you are good. For our tires, we chose 40 inch tall Milestar Patagonia MTs. This in our book is one of the best bang for your buck off-road tires you can get. It's a good solid tire. They work in all types of terrain, mud, snow, sand, rocks, you name it. They're great on the street and they look good. They feature really good biting edges. They have an open tread pattern, which will help them self clean. They also have a three ply sidewall for impact resistance. Now, if you've been a member of the Northridge Nation for a while, you know that we've used these on many of our builds and we just think they're that great of a tire. Now, you can call us here at Northridge 4x4 or get online at northridge4x4.com and you can order wheel and tire packages completely assembled. They'll be mounted, balanced, even have brand new tire pressure monitoring sensors in them delivered to your door. So all you have to do is bolt them onto your 4x4. However, we know that a lot of you are more do-it-yourself types and that you'd like to see how a beadlock wheel goes together. So let's get at it. So when it comes time to mounting tires on beadlocks, we're going to do this upside down. So you want to make sure whichever side you want pointed out, facing out, that is sitting on the ground. So if you have white walls and you want your white walls in, make sure your white walls are facing up. Then we need some sort of lubrication. What we have here is just a bottle of Purple Clean we picked up the local auto parts store. And we are just going to squirt some here around the bead. Get it nice and soapy and just kind of make sure we're covered in there. This is just one of those cheap 99 cent paint brushes. Take our wheel and remember we're doing it upside down. So take the face of your wheel and tuck it in. Now we can even use a little bit more soap on the beadlock ring. And just start pushing and twisting. There we go. There we go. Yeehaw. Got it. All right. <laughs> cool. else, sir? That's it. Thanks. Yes, and they can be really tight. Sometimes you do need an extra hand. It all depends on the how tight the bead is from the tire manufacturer and the shape of the rim shell. Once we have the wheel in the tire, square it up the best you can and stand it up. And then we're going to take a five gallon bucket. And set our wheel right up on top of that bucket. Now we just have to tuck this edge of the tire down around the wheel. Sometimes it really helps to take a rubber mallet and just make sure that's seated all the way down. We're then going to take our soapy water again. And apply a little bit to the bead. And that's just so as we bolt this ring down, the bead will, it'll help the bead slip and slide a little bit. And now it's time for beadlock bolts. Boy, can't believe it. Already forgot to do something. Forgot to put the valve stem in. So this is one of the first things you do once you unpack your wheels is put your valve stems in before you stuff the wheels down into the tires. Either that or you, you kind of almost got to get it back up and do it again. 
Take your valve stem, slide it in. This is a little valve stem pulling tool. We can then hook onto it. And give her a pull. Now let's go back to our five gallon bucket and back to our lube again and on goes our ring. So grab some anti-seize. We're using nickel anti-seize and grab your beadlock bolts. Now we are putting steel bolts into aluminum wheels so we could have a dissimilar metal issue with them corroding together. So make sure you use a little anti-seize. It'll go a long way. Method beadlock bolts are half inch. So just start getting them going. Anti-seize on each one of them. And have some regs handy because it's anti-seize. You know that, it's gonna go everywhere. Now I tend to pick out features of a wheel to use all my starter bolts in. These method wheels have this V pattern, so I'm gonna put a starter bolt in each one of these. Just kind of a great way to keep yourself um, focused on where you're putting bolts, especially when we get down to torquing the bolts down. Now that we have all the bolts snugged up, it's time to torque them. So we're gonna grab our torque wrench, we're gonna set it to 18 foot-pounds. Now, how do I know it's 18 foot-pounds? Because I, because I read the directions. So for the method wheels that are cast aluminum that use anti-seize, you wanna go a range of 15 to 20, we like to use 18. It's just that right in between range. Now, we also wanna do that in that same star pattern. So by looking at the top of the wheel, I'm just gonna start at the points of each of the spokes. And then I'm gonna split that difference and go halfway between them and then split the difference again and just keep that up. Now, as I'm torquing, I'm gonna go about a quarter turn. and then split the difference again. Now, as you're torquing them down, you're gonna find that some bolts all of a sudden start becoming loose. And that's as you pinch that bead down, that rubber bead and compress it, the ring drops farther down. Some of the other bolts now have less torque or they're not holding that ring as tight. And so you just gotta keep going back and forth, back and forth on that ring pattern until you hit that 18 foot pounds of torque every single time on every single pattern you do. The first beadlock wheel usually takes you about 45 minutes to get the hang of, but each one after that goes rapidly faster because you kind of start getting the feel for it. So just keep at it and you'll have them all torqued down. Now it's time to go to our next step, which is to put the valve core in if you removed it. And now it's time for some air. You heard that pop and a little bit more. And that's that inner bead seat seating. Whoa, there's a little pop. And that's helped by that soapy spray that you put in there. And then we're just gonna run these up to 35 PSI and get them on the spin balance machine. Oh, whoa, hey, hey everybody, look. 
We've got Brittany and Kevin from the Light Bright YouTube channel. How you doing? Good. Good to see you guys. And we got Jelly Belly here too. Yeah. The star of the hey. show. She is the star of the show. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, that works. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> wasn't wasn't that convenient. <laughs> Uh, I just happened to be finishing up this beadlock install with some Patagonia tires and you guys have been huge supporters of Patagonia. You guys love yeah. their tires. Yeah. You got on what the JL and the new JT. We yeah. do. The and, Gladiator giveaway. The, as of two days ago we actually have them on our Ram 3500 in the XTs. Okay. And then they actually we found out that they make trailer tires. So, so did you put have, them on the trailer? So we, put them on, so we have eight trailer. tires on the trailer. They're, they're, they're like 14 ply, like semi truck, crazy tires. Yeah. 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 Wow, well, that's a big trailer, big weight. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've got a set being sent out too for my drift car. So. Oh yeah, drift. Car. We, so yeah. drift tires, off road tires, trailer tires, trailer tires, towing tires, <laughs> and yeah, and then the off roading tires. Yeah. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Kevin and Brittany, they run a channel called Light Bright on YouTube, and it's uh, mainly off road related, and they're building. A really cool, they've been building a really cool JL for the last couple years and just recently they started building a JT and they've been visiting all the Northridge 4x4 yeah. uh, yeah, this shops. Is the last, yeah, this, this is the last one. one. So yeah. you've already hit Denver, you yeah. already hit Salt Lake yeah. and now they're here at Silverdale, Washington. Trying yep. to wrap up the build as quickly as possible for EJS yeah. yeah, so we're trying to get done. <laughs> yeah, and then we actually have some, I think, 40 inch black labels being sent here, here? for our JL. Oh, nice. Like, that's a spoiler alert. Oh, I don't know when this is coming out. Maybe. <laughs> Kevin thinks that now that we're trailering the stepchild, our big red Jeep, we uh, can run it's black the labels. perfect opportunity well, for upgrade again. And there's been a few people who are running the black labels even on the street. And as long as you're rotating, as long as you're keeping proper tire pressure, they're actually having surprisingly long life for a of sticky course. tire. Sticky, tire. Yeah. sticky tires usually go away right away. I mean, these are really the dot ones are pretty sticky to begin with. Yeah. Um, yeah, we have actually a durometer that I've been testing different tires as we go around the country. Okay. And they test as like some of the softest, the, the okay. dot ones test as like some of the softest out of all the compounds. And that's one of the reasons why we'll really uh, tell you with the Patagonias, make sure that you keep them inflated properly. Do not run them low on the street and rotate them often. I like to see a 2,500 mile to 3,500 mile max rotation. Because yeah. if not, these outer lugs tend to cut. And it's not a problem with the tire itself. It's just that most people are thinking, okay, we can run these tires a little bit lower, but really we want to run them at a, at a proper street pressure so that you're running on the center of the tread. And then you want to rotate them often. It is a sticky tire, even the DOT tires. Yes, and soft. Yeah, so for maximum uh, road life, yeah. yeah you definitely want to make sure that you've got them filled up you know be, do some testing but get them up to 34 35 psi yeah. and do frequent uh, tire rotations yeah at least so what's a little different about these is they're actually kind of crowned they're not a flat tread yeah. they're kind of crowned in the middle and that's where it's supposed to ride is on those center tread blocks so a lot you, of people think they have to deflate it so that it runs all the way to here and that's not the case right yep so the proper, so the, the the old school chalk met like chalk test method doesn't actually work with these. So you're not supposed to do that. Yeah. Well, it works great if you're just going to chalk the very center. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to get back at getting these uh, wheels and tires put on. I'm we'll hoping we can catch up with you a little bit later. Oh, yeah. we're, we'll be here. We're actually building our gladiator <laughs> yeah. right next door. So we yeah. sure are. Well, thanks for crashing our video, and yeah. uh, great to introduce you to everybody. Yeah. Hey guys. All right, we'll see you again really yeah. soon. Cool. Thank you. I wonder what this is going to look like, huh? <laughs> I don't even know how I can follow that one up. We got to get these uh, Patagonias and the rest of the beadlocks assembled so we can get our giveaway gladiator sitting on all fours. So there you have it, 40 inch Patagonias on the method bead locks on the giveaway gladiator. That looks pretty good. Now I know some of you are questioning, hey, how tall is that tire in real life? It's a 40 inch tall tire, but we know most off-road tires aren't true to their measurement. These are at 35 PSI. And eyeballing it here, 
we are right at 39 inches tall. So that's pretty good for a 40 inch tall tire. And hey, they look great. So don't forget to enter this contest if you haven't. There's a link down below to where you can enter to try to win this Gladiator. There's also a link down below or links down below where you can get Patagonia tires, Method bead locks, of course, to the Northridge 4x4 website where we have many different tires and wheel choices for you to choose from. Wow, wheel choices from you to choose from, ah, close enough. Hey, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and that little bell next to it to make sure that you get notifications every time we drop a new video. And leave us a comment, what do you think? Patagonia's 40 inches on the giveaway Gladiator? Looks pretty good. Till next time, thanks Northridge Nation.